Yeah, so um, I was just following on from my last video there <clears throat> on the Godhead, and I look just had a look, and there's uh, only three times Godhead is mentioned in in the Bible, and I was just thinking, what's the chances all three are different numbers? <laughs> so, so have a look at Strong's. 2304, 2305, 2320. I was like, oh no. <laughs> there's a there's a trinity of godheads. <laughs> so yeah, what have we got? 2304. So um 2304, I think. Yep. That one's general name of deities is used by the Greeks spoken of the Greeks so it's like inclusive of of the Father Son and Holy Spirit so that's what the 23 so this is Acts so for as much then as we are the offspring of God we ought not to think that the Godhead like Father Son and Holy Spirit is like unto gold all right so the next one 2305 is from Romans 120 for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead all right so this one is 2305 so it just means divine nature <clears throat> Godhead, divinity, <clears throat> and it comes from 2304, the one we just said. <clears throat> so this one, and then you got Colossians, uh, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead. And this is 2320, so speaking of Jesus. So it's deity, the state of being God. All right, so that's what it means, just being God. It's not saying that like, the Father's in him or anything, it's just saying he is a God. This one here is where it comes from. So we can have a look at this one. And that's all three there. That's the God the Father, Christ, the second person, Holy Spirit. Yeah, so there you go. It's just when you think you've got it all sus, there's a trinity of godheads. <laughs> Alright, um, God bless.